Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. Today we're going to talk of IIT Guwahati and as you, as you know we've been covering all the IITs in terms of how to get into them, what are the kind of cutoffs that you need at a category level, what kind of placements you can expect, what kind of branches that you have and also the kind of median salary and the average salary that they have. Every detail is what we're trying to cover for you and in that process we're going to cover IIT Guwahati today, right? Before I move any further, we also created a comprehensive guide of all the IITs including cutoffs, placements, everything that you need for you to decide how to go about uh, getting into them. So we created a comprehensive guide, click on the link below and uh, uh, you know you can register and then the ebook will be uh, sent to you uh, by mail. The other thing is if you're not subscribed to uh, you know BTEC 360, do it right now because we're going to over the next six months cover everything to do with BTEC education so that you get into the best college, you are informed on how to get into the best college and so on and so forth. So please subscribe if you're not already subscribed to BTEC 360. Coming to IIT Gohati, we're going to discuss the placement stats, the salary data, the recruiters, the job uh, role-wise performance and everything that you want. As a summation, what is IIT Gohati? It was established in 1994. So we're dealing with about 32 years of legacy. It's an institution of national importance, which essentially means that it's reports to only the government of India. It's an institution that's been created because it was important for the nation. So to that extent, you'll also have courses that a commercial institution might not actually want to do, but INIs do that. The campus size is 700 acres and 3,914 students, of which about 79% students are boys and about 21% students are girls. Uh, and about 96% students come from outside the state of Assam, right? So that's a very good number to deal with. About 15 students are also from outside the country, right? And the faculty is 4,460, which essentially means that you actually have one faculty for every eight or nine students, which is a very good ratio because what is recommended is one is to 15. Uh, now, what are the placements that you have? This is actually a data that was submitted to the government of India. What we're showing to begin with is the data that's been submitted on an affidavit to the government of India, which essentially means more authentic because the dean director has signed off uh, on an affidavit, right? So when you look at that data, in the year 23-24, 956 students were admitted. 856 graduated. So one doesn't know what happened to this 100 gap. Maybe they're doing integrated programs and those kind of things. One doesn't know those kind of things, right? That might be a possibility. Of this 856, 658 were placed. And 179 were moved for higher education. So typically people move for higher education for two reasons. Because they actually had an original plan or two. There's a great possibility here, especially for BTEC programs, that they did not get great placement. So they decided that instead of going for a not too good placement or uh, not get, get, getting a job, you move on to higher education. That's a possibility here because what we realize, and as you go along, you'll realize that also, is that the better programs, the more in-demand programs, there is not many students who are moving for higher education. Whereas when you come down to the other programs where there is not much in demand, students are moving for uh, you know higher education. So that's the thing. But having said that, 658 plus 179 is about 830, 840 or something. So you're dealing with 97.19% student uh, placement because these people, in my opinion, are being pushed to opt for higher education because they could not get placed. Why do I say that? Look at these numbers. Here only 51 moved for higher education. Here only 43 moved for higher education. But it came here, it was 179 students who moved for higher education. That's what it is. Now this is data that's submitted to NIRF. So it's not my data, it is NIRF data. So what I'm doing is essentially promoting, uh, talking about what is out there. Right. The median salary is 19.48 lakh, which seems to have come down from 21.6 in the earlier year and 22.5 before that. Now there seems to be a general fall in kind of the median salary. But my concern is not the 19.48, it's a very good salary actually if you ask me personally. As long as I'm looking at this 179 students and possibly not placed, that seems to be a red flag for me. Right. Now coming to what is the kind of median salary at a branch level if you can look, look at that. At, for computer science, it's 34.1 lakh median salary and 36.9 for his average salary, right? Uh, this is from the institution uh, brochure, by the way. Data science and AI is 25 lakhs and 33.98 lakh average salary. Mathematics and computing, 25 lakhs and 33.14 lakhs. By the way, moving forward, this will be a very good branch. So please look at this very closely. In the age of AI, oh, the, by the time you guys pass out, it will be far better if you have mathematics as one of the subjects. and because AI is all about algorithms and mathematics, so deal with it from that perspective. Design 28.42 is the average salary, and 23.28 is the median salary. Electronics and communications 23.43 and 24.82. Electronics and electrical engineering 21.2 and 24.38 is the average salary. Now, when you look at look at uh, the cutoff, the and this is category-wise cutoff, by the way. So remember, this category-wise cutoff and not 
और ये रैंक लिस्ट कैटेगरी रैंक है ये दी आर ऑल कैटेगरी रैंक्स इज व्हाट वी टॉकिंग अबाउट फॉर बीटेक कंप्यूटर साइंसेस द लास्ट रैंक एट विच यू यू कुड गेट इन इफ यूर जनरल कैटेगरी स्टूडेंट वॉज सेवन For data sciences and AI, it was one thousand seventy-eight. For BTEC mathematics and computing, it's one two seven six. For electronics and communication engineering, it's one eight two nine. For BTEC electronics and electrical engineering, it's two one nine five. And for mechanical, it's four eight nine two. Now, if you carefully remember, in that placement data that you have, you don't have the average and median salary for me mechanical. If you remember that, but that's where life is, you know. Uh, now, for EWS category rank of one one eight, you got, could get into CS. Uh, data science and ai 190 mathematics and computing 214 you can get in again i'm saying it's category rank repeat i keep repeating it because i don't want you to get confused electronics and communication 301 electronics and electrical engineering 377 and mechanical 825 this is 25 data obc ncl 336 sc 183 99 for st for computer sciences and 452 for obc for data science and ai 297 for sc and 128 for st For mathematics and computing, 560 for OBC, 343 for SC, 225 for ST. Uh, electronics and communication, communication engineering, 796 for uh, OBC, 499 for SC category rank, 283 for uh, uh, ST category rank. Uh, B Tech electronics and electric, electrical engineering, 996 OBC category rank, 656 for SC, 325 for ST category rank. Mechanical, 2231, 1240, and 610. Please take a screenshot of this. This is very important for you to understand what are your chances of getting into any of these courses in IIT Guwahati. For chemical, it's six thousand fifty-three for general. Uh, for energy engineering, six six one zero. I told you earlier, INS typically also create courses which are needed for the nation. So you can actually see that uh, thing here. Engineering, physics is seven one one seven. Chemical science and technology is seven nine five eight. Civil is nine thousand twenty one. Biosciences and bioengineering is ten thousand seven twenty seven. and then you also have the category ranks across the board please take a screenshot of that this is more important for you i don't want to keep repeating the numbers uh, you actually have that entire screenshot please take it if you've taken that we move to the next flight what are the companies that come for recruitment you actually have all the big tech companies all big banks all big consulting companies will get that so google microsoft amazon adobe apple oracle then you have investment bank of goldman sachs uber D Shaw, you know, investment bank, Altesian, Morgan Stanley Investment Bank, J P Morgan Investment Bank, Wells Fargo, Salesforce, Nvidia, a tech company, Intel, Texas Instruments, Flipkart, Zomato, which is a uh, in thing these days, Tata Motors, Larsen to Ro Bosch, Siemens, Reliance, Vedanta, J S W Steel, B P C L, S P C L, Deloitte, P W C India, again consulting company, B N Y Mellon. Uh, uh mastercard american express banks right so you actually have all kinds of companies going there for placement which obviously means that it is well sought after as far as the company is, is concerned for recruitment purposes now we also examine the linkedin profile to understand what are the students who claim that they studied at iit guwahati what are they doing currently so this would obviously include every student who studied since IIT Guwahati was established because students would have claimed that they studied there, right? So we found about thirty-six thousand one sixty-two students who studied at IIT Guwahati, or at least they claim that they studied at IIT Guwahati. There is no reason to doubt that data. You know, a few might, you know, claim it, but typically on LinkedIn you actually have more accurate data. When we looked at that data, three hundred fifty-three students of that are still working at Microsoft. At some point in time, 1,013 students were working over a period of time, but many of them would have moved on to different jobs, different careers, different companies, and those kind of things. But at this point in time, three fifty students who studied at our IIT Guwahati are right now working in Google. In Deloitte, eighty three students are working. EY, thirty eight are working. Bain and Company, two people are working, right? But we also looked at other things of. You know where are the big the big companies the mom companies what you call them which is Meta Apple Go Amazon Netflix and Google whether they are recruiting because these guys really give big offers when we look at that data 77 students are right now working in Meta 58 in Apple 285 in Amazon 2 in Netflix and 341 in Google so very clearly you, if you remember the recruiters you would also seen the, these names so very clearly these companies are actually going for placement because of which 
even today as we speak so many students are working and over a period of time so many students actually worked over a period of time you know they would have joined them in 2000 2010 or whatever it is and then moved on to a better job which is what happens in these kind of institutions you know people don't stick beyond a time but if you stick around you also grow but this is where you stand that you know the good companies are coming they are recruiting the brochures is correct and the big offers that are being made is a fact as far as IITs are concerned. Now, we also looked at the data of where the 36,000 students are wor working and when we saw that 88% students or so 31,650 students are working in India, right? Which means 12% students are, are working around, around the world, right? Now, of the 12%, 2,625 or 7 percent students are working in US. Right, about 363, which is 1% is working in UK, Canada is 270, Germany is 249, UA is 214, these are global, right. What it also means is that obviously that the institution is so good that good companies are coming for placement, then they move up the career and, you know, maybe gain, you know, global roles or they move out of that company and get into a global role in a different company. But 12% of the students are working in outside of India is a very good claim at this point in time because if you give it time, it will touch 15-20% over the next 15-20 years, which essentially means that the learning that happens at IIT Gohat is good enough for you to at some point in time attain a global role over a period of time. As I told you, we're going to cover Every kind of engineering college, we're going to start with IITs, NITs, IIITs, and so on and so forth, but move on to all colleges also, because our objective here is to ensure that you get all information about a college and then deal with it in terms of taking a decision based on whether you want to get into the college or not. So from that perspective, uh, if you want me to cover any college, please write to me here. If you want to download the IIT, you know, complete comprehensive guidebook of IIT Gohart, uh, IIT Gohart and all the IITs for that matter, with this kind of data, please register here and download the ebook. Thank you so much. Namaste.